Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Herbert's and Crafting. Episode 2 here in Season 8. We are deep underground in the mines, gathering some serious resources for our projects today. I've got a massive build for you and a surprise. That is right. I have a big, big surprise for you, and I mean big. Something you've never seen in vanilla Minecraft before, so I'm very excited for you to see that. Now, you'll notice that I have uh, yet to find a diamond. And I can finally say that we have found one. That is right. After all the mining I've done for the copper, never found a single diamond. Well, I actually lost one, but look at this. Look at this. We finally got one. Now I have a question for you. Is that diamond texture for the ore different? Because I thought they weren't changing the diamond texture, but the other textures. Either way, let me know in the comments and let's scoop up our very first diamond right in the old inventory. Okay, we need to sacrifice something. And that is gonna be the coal and definitely the cobblestone for our one very own diamond. Now, I just kind of realized that an obligation of mine is always to put my first diamond that I get from the mines on the walls. So technically we don't have any diamonds still, nor any tools. So that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Okay, that would have been certain death. <laughs> we got to be super, super careful with this pirate booty of ore we've got in our inventory. So somehow we, ooh, hello there, copper. I can't pass up copper. More coal is going to be a sacrifice. Excuse me. You are disturbing me when I'm having a moment with copper here. That is very disrespectful. Seriously? This vein goes on forever. <laughs> I could get used. No, dude, there's more. Oh, I love copper. Like, I, I just can't get, uh, there's more. And I love every minute of, there's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> I think I would sacrifice the diamond at this point for all of the copper. Ooh, a geo. <gasps> Ooh, okay. That could have been certain death again. I am dodging. I am weaving the mobs down here like a pro, but what I'm not doing well with is nearly falling off of cliffs. That would have been certain death and a loss of our giant booty of treasure. So we need to find a way out of here right now. Oh, I can smell fresh air from here. There it is. I feel like I have cheated death by coming out of there without dying with all of our treasure. Now we just need to figure out where we are. Oh no, <laughs> our base has turned into a sherbet ice cream cone. <laughs> oh wow, this is definitely going to need to be fixed. Well, I guess that's a thing in Minecraft now. We have to uh, periodically uh, clean our roofs off. In the comments, I need a better name for our first diamond. So let me know what we should name our first diamond in the comments and we'll name it in our next episode. But for now, we have got our very first diamond. And soon there will be many, many more of them. I hear you out there. You're asking, Scar, where's the build today? Where's the fun surprise you promised? We'll get there. I, I just gotta, I gotta scrub my roof first. I'll be right back. This may just be the most satisfying thing in all of Minecraft is <laughs> wax on, wax off of the copper. Now, I noticed that Grian has a little bit of copper here. So does Mumbo, Impulse, and of course, Pearlescent Moon. I can't seem to help myself. I want to continue to wax on, wax off. Maybe we'll provide a new service here. Scars waxing. A surprise every time. <laughs> First time is free. Now, let's start cleaning up this bus. Get it back to factory specifications. When he's cruising down the road, people are like, whoo. That thing's a shining. Now you don't need to leave an angry comment. This is perfectly fine. It's just a joke amongst friends here. Let's see if we can find him. I know he is online. <gasps> There's his name. Oh, we could drop in on him. All right, he's right below us. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, Mumbo. What? What on earth was that entrance, dude? This is not how you're meant to get in here. Oh, it isn't? Oh, dude, what are you doing down here? I think unsuccessfully making potato farms. I mean, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it looks really good. I just want to let you know that I have waxed you. The greatness mm, about my waxing service, Mumbo, is it's a surprise yep. every time. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you want from a waxing service. I just checked my face to make sure we were talking about the same sort of waxing. Because if you waxed off my mustache, Dude. I was about to be quite cheesed off. Dude, your, your van is shining like it has never shined before. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. 
What stage have you waxed my cover box in, dude? <laughs> I've just realized that they might not be in the face that I'd like them to be. There's a big there's a big problem here. So is this this is now stuck like this, like they will never oxidize. Am I wrong in saying that? Well, uh, Scar's waxing service is a work in progress. We currently don't have the actual wax. <laughs> <laughs> we are I'm doing this manually. It, it's real rich, okay? Messing with a guy's copper <laughs> when one has so much copper on their roof, okay? I have eight copper blocks in my bus, okay? <laughs> you have 400 copper blocks. That's true. Okay? That's true. But doesn't it shine? I mean, it looks like it just came out of the factory. It looks like, you know, those 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 videos where it's like VW van recovered from forest and now we're going to restore it. <laughs> well, the currently bottom of it's a lake. stage. Yeah, currently it's a stage one. <laughs> this is them just finding it. Uh, well, <sighs> this time it's free. Uh, next time it will be a diamond. What's he doing? <gasps> what? In <the> what? <laughs> What song is this? Where did the song come from is the real question. <laughs> What's just happened? What I, was that? I have no idea. He's back. <laughs> He's back. It's a one man circus. It's so loud. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, was that loud? <laughs> oh. You. Uh, wait. Uh, Oh, everybody okay? Oh, wow. I am, uh... Oh, no, he had to turn Wonderwall on! It's not quite as good, is it? It's not quite oh, as good! Oh. That's just next what level. I... This is this is the one... Tim, this is the new Timmy the Wonder Pig, oh. I think, of the village. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> so, we got a Wonder Pig, we got Wonder Wall. What else are we gonna get this Wonderous? I mean, jeez, this is... Did, the, yeah, village full of wonder. That is exactly what we have here. <laughs> that was That was literally a straight-up one-man circus. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what just happened. I don't, I don't even know what just happened. Honestly, <laughs> like one minute Scar was yawning and like he was saying <laughs> stuff, but honestly, I was just more distracted by his tiny hat. And then suddenly you come along and <laughs> literally just one man band over here. <laughs> and, uh, honestly, this is ridiculous. That was just unreal. Oh, impulse. Oh. Yeah. Well, I have you here. What's about to happen? Um, there's a new oh, service no. here in town, impulse. It's called Scar's Waxing, a surprise every time the first time here oh. is free by the way um okay. we are available 24 hours to satisfy your waxing needs and like uh it. yeah the first time's free <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate Wait, so the service car oh yes just it is going to be a great service we don't have the wax yet by the way I was going to say, uh, just oh. to clarify i i saw no wax being used there buddy you i don't have any bees really... no wax just an axe. That's your slogan. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. I love that it fades out. The fact that it fades out is so funny to me. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> that was spot on. I'm. I'm. Oh. I tell you what. Standing here is so funny because you go out of audible distance and then you fade back in. <laughs> Perfect. That was fantastic. Oh, well, I'm my friends, I must it. be off. I need to go wax green. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> everybody here has had their coppers shined up green, pearl. Everyone is looking their absolute best. I can't wait to create my copper maintenance business. We're going to create a bee wagon so we can get all the wax we need. It's going to be Oh no, it's giving me the green eyes. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We, we probably should talk to him. Green, hello? Green, hello? I just wanted to let you know that you've been waxed. Eh? The waffle's still intact. No, 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 no. Your roof line. Your roof line was very, very dirty and corroded, and I spruced oh, no. it up. Do you know what? That actually looks washer. pretty good. <laughs> oh, you, you like it? <gasps> yeah, I think it, it still works. The color palette still works. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. Mumbo, Mumbo think... thought his fan didn't, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> the mix doesn't quite work, does it? No, 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 it doesn't. It looks like it's right off the assembly line. One or the other. I, I, I can't help but notice that there's one block you missed on your own build over there. <laughs> oh, that's true. 
<laughs> what kind of waxing service is this, Scar? Well, the wax is coming soon. I don't actually have the wax, but it's an aspirational goal of mine to have the wax. But uh, yeah, Scar's waxing service. So any of your copper needs, I can take care of. I can varnish, I can axe, I can polish, whatever you want. I think I'll just stick to leaving it blue. Oh, no, 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 no green copper allowed in this village. Goodbye, Mumbo. Goodbye. Not Mumbo green. Goodbye. I'm truly flattered he thinks I'm Mumbo. You might be saying, old Scar, where is that surprise you promised us? Well, it is inside this chest. And I guarantee you, what is in this chest is something you have never seen before. It is going to be amazing. But before I reveal it, well, we've got to work out some of our interior here in the Lambo. So I was watching Snowpiercer, the uh, TV show on HBO, and it gave me a lot of inspiration for an interior of a vehicle. So I'm really pumped. So down below here, it's kind of the maintenance, kind of grungy with a lot of stone, a bit dirty, things like that. And as you go up to the next level, we're going to have our crafting and storage area. And then on top of that, we are going to have our bedroom kind of command center and things like that. We're going to jam pack a ton of stuff in here today, but we are below there. <laughs> it's the ghoul in the attic. Just ignore him. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I'm super excited about that. We are going to need to go get quite a few new resources. And one of those resources is going to require us to go deep. We're going to have to protect the little hat going into the nether here and away we go as this is the first time I've actually been into the nether and I have heard that it is rough. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it actually paid off to not go to the nether originally. We got this beautiful tunnel now. Hopefully it uh, has a way to Blackstone and Warp Stem is what we're after. <laughs> I didn't realize we were literally walking through Blackstone all the way down that tunnel. Oh, okay. We're just we're just going to take the Blackstone right here. On second thought, let's not tear apart the entire tunnel. People put a lot of work into it. So let's take the Blackstone behind the wall. And then uh, we just kind of sneak back out and close up the hole like we were never here. So we don't be rude to the tunnel. Yep, this nether just keeps on getting worse. We are literally in the air. We've got uh, gas floating around here. So what I need is more blackstone. There just isn't enough in the walls. And I want some quartz and some warp stem if I can get it. Maybe an end rod. Ooh, see, we could get an end rod there. So well, let's see if we can very carefully get ourselves down. This is definitely not one of my worst ideas ever. <laughs> Oh, I don't want anything to do with those guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't have the I don't have the protection for this. Oh, my gosh. Charge. <laughs> You're going to die. Did we get a rod? We did it. We did it. OK. Oh, those are the mean pigs. Ooh. Oh, no, not one of them. Oh, no, not the wither effect. No, 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 no. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. OK. Everything's fine. I don't I don't actually want one of those rods now. I just want to go home. Not today, buddy. <laughs> You'll have to ask your buddy down the hall how it uh, went with dealing with me. That's right. I'm a I'm an accordion slayer. <laughs> you can't you can't touch me. You can't touch me. You can have all your little offspring here. None of them. None of them can touch me. Look at this. I am I am a champion of the Nether. Oh, so much for the uh champion of the Nether. I thought the little fellas couldn't hurt you. Oh, really? This is how it's going to be? You're going to box me in in the tunnel? Prevent me to get my resources? Have it despawn? I know your game. You know what? Kill me. Kill me. I don't care. I'm going to come back with a sword and slay you with a passion of a thousand scars. Yeah, you all ran when I came back with a sword. Couldn't, couldn't handle this, could you? Oh, man, if we would have lost this, that just would have been the worst. <laughs> Look on the positive side. We got what we needed. We may have been embarrassed for life being killed by a magma cube, but we got what we need. We can start on our interior now. Oh, what in the world? Oh, oh, Doc's attacking us. What in the world? Why, why is he not attacking us? Oh, no, maybe it was a zombie. Never mind. False alarm. <laughs> oh, hello there, Ren. You are uh, awfully pale. <laughs> what, has Ren become a vampire? <laughs> what are these guys doing? 
<laughs> Ren's got an elytra too, so that's super cool. I want to fly. Who knows what those silly gooses are up to? I think they have been around too many soggy, wet goats, and the fumes from that wool is going to make you go insane. But as you can see, this deep slate is perplexing in that we cannot make anything other than furnaces with the cobble variant of it. So no pistons, no droppers, things like that. So hopefully Mojang in the future implements the other recipes so we can have another use for a cobble deep slate. But let's pop back up inside the Lambo here and start working out the interior. As I said, we're going to start stacking and we're going to start with the maintenance bay and move our way up to the storage and crafting and on to our bedroom at the top. We'll have a bedroom and a desk and all sorts of fun things. So with the power of my tiny hat, let's hit super fast build mode. super fast build mode and we've got one super awesome interior for the lambo all worked out and ready to go we even have an entrance into the vehicle where before we didn't actually have a real way of getting in and out but we not only have that entrance but we now have a maintenance entrance which i think we'll use to start our tour here and i think it's really fun it looks like it just drops out from the bottom hits the ground and there's a ladder and when this thing takes off again it rises back up into the bottom there and as we come up we can see that we are now in the maintenance bay and this is where our smelters are located so these things are awesome we put fuel in this chest we put the items that we want smelted and then they are deposited down here now it would be really cool if all four of these hooked up to a central like depositing chest but that's sadly past my abilities <laughs> but yeah these things are super fun these chests are actually unique in that uh, they connect to the crafting and storage area above so if i need something smelted i can then just put it in a chest there and it'll send it down here without having to come down so that is really nice lots of fun little steampunk elements scattered around here we have these power cables and when we do finally get our end rod and we can make our milkshake maker we can plop it right there put some of the ingredients in these decorative uh, mine chests over there and all of these areas have these really cool little balconies that you can walk out on and it just adds a little bit more of a cool feeling to the entire uh, setup out back here this is our infinite lava supply via these stalactites i think that fits really cool inside the fuel tank and we even have a uh, water one so yeah that's a cool new little uh, 1.17 touch there but I'm happy with this. This is my favorite floor personally. Let me know what your favorite one is. We've got a really cool floor made out of the upgrade gear table. I forgot your name and I apologize. Considering I made almost 200 of these things, <laughs> I probably should have remembered the name. Also, Blackstone goes really well with this floor choice. And not only does the <laughs> upgrade gear table uh, look good as a floor but it also looks great as a ceiling as that's literally the pattern on the bottom and we haven't used that since literally 1.14 came out and we made something in season six with that ceiling so it was fun to revisit that design from the past lots of fun little details like this scattered around here and it just gives it that uh, kind of steampunk vibe and we have our bunk bed like barrel storage here more barrels on this wall and you know we got our loom and our cartographer table and of course this is our additional entrance more of the formal entrance with a custom door that doesn't close but i think we're safe uh, korean 
<laughs> Green's not stealing doors this season, thankfully. Um, and yeah, I, I love these little details like this. I think that really gives it some good vibes. And of course, this is the item hopper that takes the supplies down into the smelters below. Now, moving up here, this, of course, is our bedroom. Mm. <laughs> I, uh, I polished a little too much. I broke my axe. So yeah, we're going to have to get to that. Anyway, we've got ourselves a beautiful bedroom up here. I do want to do something with the floor. I'm not sure I want this particular floor of the upgrade tables. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I might consider changing this to something else, um, but we've got our really cool uh, desk all set up with lots of fun little uh, touches, you know, just to make it feel more alive, more as if someone is sitting here, you know, doing work and stuff like that. So having these tables here just adds to the environment. And speaking of the environment, this is our little vibe corner. <laughs> you can just sit here, read a book, watch some TV. I haven't fully decorated this area out yet, uh, but we will soon. And I have this really, really cute little uh, candle here, which looks absolutely absolutely fantastic so yeah that is the interior of the lambo and i hope you guys liked it that was an absolute blast to make and of course uh, do the interior and we truly have an amazing start to this season so that interior was very very expensive and i had to do a quite a bit of mining and resource gathering to put it together and in that i found one diamond <laughs> All the deep slate that I had to harvest and cobble for all the different dispensers, I, I got one diamond. So I could make a shovel and have, you know, perfect scaffolding uh, shovel. Or I could make a vibe machine for the vibe room. And I think that's what we're going to do. Was that a smart decision? I mean, I'm a little bit embarrassed about the diamond yields that I have gotten from the game so far. Granted, I haven't done a ton of branch mining, more caves to get higher yields of copper and iron and things like that for the base. But can I just get maybe ask for some props here and that I built this entire base without a single diamond tool and or diamond piece of armor? I think that's admirable, right? <laughs> I think that is worthy of spending some time here in the vibe room. And I've got a very particular record for our vibing here. It's got a it's got a unique energy to it. Um, <laughs> it's a unique one. So let's uh, let's put it in here. Yep. Yep, like I said, it's got a it's got a unique character to it. <laughs> We've actually just turned the Lambo haunted at this point. But look at that room. It is so, so adorable. And uh, I want to continue to decorate it and add more details and things. Okay, that's too much for me. That literally was creepy. Mmm, <laughs> I don't know why, but I just got a craving for cookies. Oh, that's definitely the work of Grian. <laughs> it just keeps on going. Look at this. Welcome to the G train. I, you know what? This is really bad for the old dyslexia with that outline. It just looks like snakes and I hate snakes, but it looks like this is a shop. And if you grab it, what is this? One diamond for it and oh, one diamond. I need one so bad. I can't get the end rods. Dang it. <laughs> oh, we're going to really, we're going to really have to get some diamonds. This is just rubbing it in to be, are you, what? Oh, Oh, I'm so poor. I'm so poor around here. What is this one? What is this one? Potato boy? <laughs> this has to be Mumbo from his uh, potato farm. Uh, how Where did everyone get all of this diamond money? <laughs> I feel, I feel so poor. Speaking of shopping, I want to set up a little shopping area in our next episode for the village here. And of course, anybody out in the broader Hermitcraft continent can come and shop here, of course. But in the comments, help me come up with the theme for the little shopping area. Is it a trading post? Is it a mini little city? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments and we'll set this up for the villagers in the uh, next episode. Now, of course, we're not going to sell plots like Aquatown. This is for everybody, of course. Just want to set it up so that it's easy for everybody to come over and start building. So we're, of course, going to build our more permanent wagon shop here, and then we will soon build out all of our mobile wagons that we take to people's bases and try to sell them things. And I think that'll be a really, really fun episode um, coming. Now, what do we actually sell? I don't have a lot, but what we could do is, well, <laughs> take some items, rename it, mark up the price five times, and well, that right there is a tycoon thing to do. So... 
That is our plan. You know, I am in need of things to pull my wagons and I wanted to pop on over here and get one of these goats that Rendox set up here in this goat sanctuary for everyone. But I came over here and it's, the gate's been open, there's no goats left. Oh, there's one. It's escape. It's a jailbreak. <laughs> Let's go capture it. Probably should have got a boat. You know, Doc pretends to be the ultimate goat, but he's leaving his brethren out here in the ocean without any food trying to struggle to get home. Well, that's why we are here. And this is our first employee of our wagon company, which definitely needs a name. Look at how cute he looks back there. I'm going to name him Eric. I'll just leave you here. And in our next episode, you, my friend, are going to be pulling wagons and finally making us some diamonds. What in the world just happened? Well, my friends, this build took a little longer than I thought getting all of these resources together, but I think it was well worth it in the end. So I'm going to save the super awesome surprise for our next episode. And I'm curious if you can guess what's in there. And if I wait a little longer, I can make it even better, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. So until next time, my friends, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos, and if you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later, and don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scarred for life.